Kendrick Lamar recently went at Drake for a whole verse, and it's something I wanted to talk about and sort of get into, so there's no real script to this video, just, I'm sort of just going to be yapping for 5-6 minutes. But remember, like the video, subscribe, and let's dive right in. So Future and Metro just dropped an album two days ago that, honestly, I wasn't too excited to listen to, especially since Future's dropping a double album with Metro and they're going to have another one coming next week. So I was honestly either just going to give the album a spin tonight or just wait until the second album comes out and just listen to them both all at once. But I woke up and I go on Twitter and I see everybody talking about Kendrick and Drake. And I'm sort of just like, what? What's going on? What happened? You know? And I'm looking at it and people, you know, people are tweeting like the, the lyrics from, from the song. And I'm like, dang. So let me go listen to the song. So this is the only song on the album I listened to. It's called Like That by Future and Metro featuring Kendrick Lamar. And we're going to read some of the lyrics and sort of dive right into them. So first, Kendrick says, D.O.T., the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Says it's a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, ah, I, I hope the sentiment's symbolic. Ah, uh, my temperament bipolar. I choose violence. And he makes a callback to his 2012 song, Backseat Freestyle, with the lyrics, All I want is the money, power, and respect. My mind or die from lead shower. This is a bold assertion where Kendrick claims superiority over drake and j cole the other rappers that form the so-called big three he uses part of his old name k dot to emphasize that he has three of the most powerful things within the rap game money power respect special attention is drawn to respect being in kendrick's opinion the best thing to have as a rapper kendrick has a history of working on more conscious and less mainstream albums like the pimp a butterfly and mr morale and the big steppers with the five-year wait for the latter album especially proven that values quality and reputation over the money. The last one is better may also be a jab at Drake, specifically with him having a large amount of power and the most money out of the big three, but also lacking respect given the Cole and Kendrick by many in the rap scheme. I mean, this is just pretty obvious. Like, if you look up Drake online, there's a ton of Drake the type of guy memes. Uh, the Drake one dance memes have been going crazy for almost 10 years now, eight years, whatever. I mean, if you look up Drake on TikTok, you're just going to see a bunch of people clowning him. Have y'all actually, have y'all ever seen those, those videos of Drake, like where he's animated in the studio and they did one for his song with the Yeet, where he was being all sassy and stuff in the studio. It's, it's hilarious. I'll throw up a clip on screen if I can find one. But yeah, Drake just isn't really a respected artist in the rap game. And this is something that Kendrick is sort of poking at. But let's keep going. This whole verse is pretty much dedicated to Drake. So we're probably just going to read most of the verse. Guys clicking up, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell them. Fuck sneak dissing. First person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. Diss me Mel if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers to play it safe. If you walk around with a stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Mother F the big three. Dog, it's just big me. A bum what? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Prince outlived Mike Jack. Bum for all your dogs getting buried. That's a K with all these nines. He going to see cemetery. Start up top with the first person shooter obviously it's a reference to drake and j cole's collab that they dropped a couple months back and sort of saying throwing the big three under the bus to so kendrick j cole and drake have been the big three for the past 10 years people have always known them as the big three even when they just got in the game and were sort of taking over and sort of just going on here and saying i'm the best out of the big three like there's no debating it whatever you saying it's just me at the top these two guys are above, are below me one of those things that Kendrick going at Drake like this is gonna initiate a response from Drake obviously because you know Drake is a guy who is so obsessed with the music game that honestly like it's pretty crazy like that's how he stayed atop so long he always has an eye on the music game and what's going on who's dropping what what people are saying so I mean it's pretty obvious that Drake heard this diss and knowing that him and Future have a history where it's being rumored that they're not really on great terms right now. And Kendrick just allowing, or Future just allowing Kendrick to go on his song and just full out diss Drake on a full verse. Like, not even really a subliminal, subliminal, really more of a direct shot just without saying his name. 
is sort of a cosine to the disc if you really think about it. So, I mean, this could be sort of like a, this seems like it's coming up to be more of like a Drake and J. Cole versus Future Metro and Kendrick. And I mean, it seems like to me, Future really didn't like Drake hopping on that 21 album and them collaborating together, especially with Metro already having problems with Drake and being such good friends with 21 Savage. It seems like it sort of caused like a big strain in that top echelon of mainstream rappers, like relationships or whatever. And honestly, it seems like it'll be a big ripple effect to a lot of these big rappers sort of going back at each other and dissing each other. Sort of like a control type era where, except that wasn't really more of a diss, except it was more of like a challenge in a way, if you look at it like that. But I do think we're going to see a response from Drake. The only thing is, I think Drake might fall back for a little bit. I think he might not get out in the public eye too much and be sort of seen talking to other people because, you know, if he's talking to anybody like, let's say, Aiden or Kai, they're going to ask him about this. And it's probably a question he wants to avoid. It's something he wants to answer on his own terms. I'm excited to see a Drake response. I'm hoping they don't do just like full on disc records like the Meek and Drake beef. And I hope they sort of just keep going back and forth. The way they have been for the past couple of years, it's pretty entertaining to listen to and it keeps you listening to the music. One of the big things I saw people complaining about online is that Kendrick didn't directly say Drake's name. And I mean, honestly, that's a pretty dumb thing to complain about. If you think about it, Kendrick's like a top level lyricist. He's he's a modern day poet. Like you really have to listen to what he's saying to really get a full grasp of it. And sometimes you can go back to it. So if you're asking like a literal, a literal poet to just be very forward with you and not you know do do his craft and do his writing i mean it sort of kills the purpose you know what i mean part of the thing that's exciting about this is and just being a little subliminal in music is that it keeps you really listening and focused on the lyrics rather than just giving the music and you know just listening to a catchy beat with somebody rapping over it so I do like that he didn't drop his name. I don't think that's really a valid argument against Kendrick. He's such a good lyricist that he can, you know, sort of play around and make it obvious of who he's talking about while still sort of, while still making you think about what he's saying and really pe putting the pieces together. While I think Drake will be a little more direct and it'll be interesting to see what, how Drake responds. Honestly, if I had to guess it now, I'm going to call this right now and I'm going to clip this in a future video if it happens. But I'm thinking that Drake is going to respond on a feature. He's going to get on a smaller artist's feature, really blow him up, get a hit with them and just throw some subliminal subliminals at Kendrick on the feature. I don't think he's going to diss them on one of his own songs or he's a lead artist, mainly because he just dropped for all the dogs a couple months ago. And I don't think being that he dropped three albums in a year, I think he's taking a step back. I don't even see him dropping a single for this. That's why. I, I'm expecting him to get on another artist's song. He's on tour right now. And so based on that, it seems like he might fall back for a little bit. and might not necessarily reply to this immediately. It might be six, seven months down the line before we hear Drake verse where he's responding to Kendrick. But it'll be exciting to see. I hope that J. Cole drops a, drops a verse about this. And, you know, it'll be entertaining for the fans and just as listeners. It's exciting to be able to... You know, be able to see this back and forth and sort of piece together what's being said and just it's like putting a whole storyline together if you really think about it, especially the way that these guys are so talented in rapping and with how long they've been the top in the game, all the 2010s pretty much and the 2020s are still at the top. It's going to draw a lot of eyes and it's, just, you know, it's pretty entertaining to see somebody that I was I was 13 listening to these guys all in the hallway. And, you know, now I'm 25 and I'm watching them go back and forth and close to their 40s. It's, you know, it's pretty interesting. It's like a lot of lore behind it. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, if you guys are around my age, you'll sort of enjoy this beef a little more. But what do you guys think about this beef? Do you think that Drake is going to respond soon? How do you think this is going to go? And how do you think this is affecting Big Sean? Because Big Sean just dropped and he's getting ready to drop an album soon. And honestly, I think his comeback is being photo is being overshadowed by Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. Which, I mean, most of his career has. Big Sean's a super talented guy, but, you know, he's sort of been overlooked in 
in the rap game in the past 10 years. But what do you guys think? Make sure you like the video, subscribe, drop a comment below. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.